tell us at this time with about now it's been almost close to a week since the Taliban has come back to power. What are you hearing and seeing, especially when it comes to women? Um, thank you for having me on your show. Hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, it's been almost a week since the Taliban arrived. And uh, what we are seeing uh, of you know, them doing you know, towards women or acting towards women, uh, nothing, nothing so obvious, nothing that, you know, in the middle of the streets, they would start beating people or shooting them or although there are some, some reports that this has been happened, you know, in the provinces like in Kunduz it happened. Uh, but at the same time here, I, I, I haven't seen anything like that myself and it hasn't been reported either. If there were some problems, you know, as far as the women are concerned being, you know, people being shot at and in general at the airport area, that's because of the rush of the uh, of people, you know, get, trying to get to the planes. But uh, so far they are, they, are, they are behaving really, really very cautiously. Hmm. And, uh, and this is, that's where they are in, in reality of it. Because I don't want to say something because that's what the, the, the news says and that's what the reports are. If there are reports and news and whatever it is, I really would like for it to be uh, to be proven that that's exactly what it is. I don't like to hear stories that this is what they did. But the fear, the fear of the 20 years ago of what they did, that is very much alive in the hearts and the minds of the Afghan women. And I think it's going to live for as long as they live. So yeah, so that's, that's where we really are in reality. The no, I'm, I'm... face of Kabul city yes, go ahead. has changed completely. Go ahead. Yeah, the face of Kabul has changed. Um, there is, you know, as I keep on saying that there are no, uh, you don't see the people be, like before that they were wearing suits or they were wearing pants and they were wearing, you know, shirts and, and police had uniforms and things like that. And I, none of that exists. Um, it, it changed so drastically, so fast, mm. that it's absolutely unbelievable. So, so I don't know. This is a part, of course, of you know, of maybe the Taliban fear. And then the other part is of the people fear. Mm. The people also fear. So when they fear, they change themselves. Yes. They change themselves very fast. For example, when they're going around right now, they're wearing a burqa. A burqa is not necessary. We don't have to wear a burqa. And I don't think the Taliban wants us to wear a burqa, but they want us to be with the job. But I want my face to be open. I mm. don't want to wear a burqa. But the women are wearing burqas. So it's like, uh, why are you doing this? How come this is happening? I, 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 I don't understand it. Programs and television. The television, pro television programs change the second Taliban put their foot in here. Okay, if you change the pro, and, and there were a lot of TV uh, stations were telling their, their women workers not to come and not to be around. Mm. So this is the TVs doing this. Personnel that are there are doing this with their, with their female workers. There's nothing to do with the Taliban. But but you know, but they're they're doing it. So I, so it's really a part this and a part that. Uh, I don't know what's going to be the end of it, but whatever it is, it's not going to be nice. That much I know. 